my new project Unsbook AD tells the story of a fictional town from medieval times to modern days. And as I always do with my project, for this project as well, I created a custom map that lets me do everything I uh, imagined for this project. So with this video now, I'd like to show you um, what that map actually is and how it came into being. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Titan and I welcome you to this new video of the first episode of my New City Skylands project, Ansburg AD. Now, so far, three videos for um, yeah, introducing this series and starting this series have been published and uh, where was the first video, of course, um, focused on this story. Um, on the storytelling part of the episode, the second video focused yeah, on the city skylines build in a typical way that city skylines build builds are um, yeah, sort of yeah, presented with a time lapse video and cinematics and of course um, commentary. Um, the third video was like me explaining the historical backgrounds of Charlemagne and what he who he was, what he had to do with the Saxons, so like, yeah, the historical backgrounds behind that first episode now. And what I'd like to do now is to show you the process of creating this map. Since, yeah, I always, well, let's say, always may be difficult to say because like it's only my second Six Guidance project. Um, anyway, I usually at least um, create custom maps for my project just because usually when I start a project I have I, I sort of have a vision of what I'd like to do and when I when I would look for for a workshop map that um, has everything I'd like to do and in, yeah in, it already has the perfect landscape and you know um, topography most of the times that just won't work so um, I usually create um, these maps myself and as I think the map creation process is such an important part of a city's guidelines city series project whatever um, I again decided to show that to you as well so um, Ansburg is um, of course, Ansburg is a completely fictional city, but um, the region Ansburg is located in is a near one-to-one -one recreation of the real area of the city of Bernburg um, in Germany. And so, what you saw at the beginning of this time lapse already two minutes ago um, was like, or you see it now again. Uh, is like that I created an overlay image of the real location of Ansburg and yeah based on that overlay based on that map I can or I, I was able to um, you know, sort of draft the, um, yeah, the topography um, one to one one by one real scale um, yeah but before I did that uh, well of course I um, decided where I want this project to be but before I did that I also created a custom height map that has a much bigger resolution than what you normally would able to achieve with um, the um, terrain.party website that I think all of you might know if you ever try to uh, make a map for city skylines um, terrain.party lets you very quickly get a height map of, a, of an area you choose from, or of, an, of, a, of your chosen area. But these maps are, yeah, I, I wouldn't say they are really bad. And so that's, I, 
I quickly knew that I, I can't do it like that. So for this project here, I created a custom height map that has um, that that is has a re resolution of 4K, and yeah, so that um, every every sort of ridge line is there where it's supposed to be, and every height is the height that um, is it's, yeah it's is realistic. If you're interested in either the overlay or the height map, and um, both are. Um, linked on the workshop page of this map and you can download um, them there just for yeah I don't know just in case I just put it there and um, because I yeah if I created it and used it for the creation of this map I might as well also um, give it for you people in case you I don't know do whatever with it so so far in this map um, creation video I yeah I created the rivers or Basically so far I created the main river, the Saale, and what I'm doing now is a yeah, very small tributary, um, actually not much more than a creek really, it's a really small river and as it's such a small river it actually was really hard um, recreating that river in city skylines because yeah as you might know the sort of the, the resolution um, of the water is very um, big I might say so that um, let's let's imagine the water is based on a calculation um, that has many um, squares and every square is 8 by 8 meters wide that would mean that every river has to be at least 8 meters wide which is kind of a lot and so you can't go infinitely small with your uh, with with your creeks and rivers, and so this the the small tributary I just made is basically the smallest you can go. But I'm really I'm talking way too slow based on how quickly um or, or how how deep I'm already in the creation process here. Wow. So the, the the two rivers are done, and so what I'm doing now um, was flattening the terrain because um. The problem that rises with having such a highly detailed height map is that every um, sort of every pixel um, on the height map is um, displayed on uh, yeah is is sort of projected on the terrain here, and so you have um, no continuous yeah elevation rise or fall or. Um, yeah, no continuous flow of the terrain, but you have um, uh, increments of like four meters. I think it's four meters. I'm not sure um, anymore how, because like I created the map uh, yeah months ago, so I'm not really uh, sure if it was four meters. It might as well have been eight meters or just one meter. Either way, I had to flatten the terrain out. So by now I'm already using a custom map theme and of course if, if you'd like to know what I'm using here, what trees later on and the map theme, the mods, of course everything is linked um, on the description um, of this map in the Steam workshop. So by now I'm using a custom map theme and uh, first of all I used um, the no radio active deserts and more mod that also lets you disable um, the um, generated sand on water surfaces because like it's, it doesn't look any realistic at all. So what I just did is um, manually um, yeah, throwing some sand in the rivers um, just because it looks way more interesting and way more realistic and yeah, interesting and awesome. By now the topography of the map is basically done. I'm, I'm having a very flat map here with only very slight um, terrain elevations so that um, this time it was really fast to um, create the terrain and so by now I'm already plopping down um, the infrastructure of this um, of this map of this region. So as you just saw again I again used the um, no, just say it. Uh, the um, um, image, the map overlay I made, and through that, of course, I was able to quickly um, plop down the highways and 
yeah, get them into their wheel position. So what I'm doing now is just the transition from highway to um, to national road, which if you have a very high quality overlay like that goes really fast and it's it's a pleasure to do actually. So um, yeah, even though my series is mostly based on history, um, the map I created is of course a modern day map. So I, yeah, as I said, it's an almost one to one um, recreation of the area around this German city of Bernburg. And so, yeah, I created the map modern, how it looks today. And it was only just before I started actually building this village and really diving into this whole time progression thing. Um, it was only then that I um, transferred the map into a state that, yeah, the area might have looked like um, 1300 years ago. So um, back then the river flowed a bit different. You might have noticed that already that the river bend, um, the village of Ansgarthorpe is located in, doesn't exist on this um, on this modern day map here. Um, I'm not gonna dive into the reasons why this river bend doesn't exist, cause it'll play a role in the yeah in the history of the city. But if you are really curious, which I kind of doubt, but just in case, um, I think. It's written on the Wikipedia page of the city of Bernburg, even though it's in German, so good luck, I guess. But yeah, um, so the river flowed a bit different back in the days, and of course there were no highways and trains, but um, I think that's the obvious part. And so those were just some minor things I... I had to do before actually diving into this whole time progression thing. But for now, of course, um, it's a map that um, yeah, can be used by anyone of you if uh, you're in uh, if you're looking for a um, sort of central European or European map that has like flatlands and maybe a small river. That might be the perfect map for you. I actually also did a. Yeah, a short test play with the vanilla city on that map, you know, just to find out if everything works. And so far, with like a few hours I played on it, I really didn't find anything that um, yeah wouldn't work in creating a city. So, might be that this map really uh, might be something for you. So, um, this whole time now where I've been talking, um, Again, so many things happened, but I'm thinking most of the things I'm doing here are actually self-explanatory. So I just put down the whole infrastructure of the map and now the big um, highway interchange um, of Bernburg. And uh, yeah, again, just the fact that I was able to use an image overlay from the real life location made it so much quicker to make this um, um, make this highway interchange and just for realism here. Um, yeah, I'm bringing everything onto a uh, yeah, onto the same height or have like really long um, ramps just so because um, you know trains can't go too steep um, up a hill and so everything has to be somewhat um, flat the ramps have to be very long just some minor things that um, actually are often yeah overlooked i think on city skylines maps um but yeah the perf perfectionist i am i just i don't know i had to do that yeah most of the things are by now are actually done with the map so i was able to by now plop the um, first trees and woods onto this map again having this um overlay was really handy because i yeah i saw where um, woods are and where forests are. What I'm doing now is like an idea I had to sort of simulate that there are even smaller rivers on this map. Um, small rivers that I really can't um, can't do with the in-game water mechanics. So what I did was um, planting trees along the river and then again deleting, um, deleting these trees where the 
yeah, where that small creek flows. So that um, on both sides of that creek, or where that creek or small river would be, you have um, a small line of trees that from an aerial perspective, so if you're looking from above, it sort of almost pretty good <laughs> um, looks as if there really was a small um, creek which is just a small idea I had because um, yeah I, I, I just I just had to do it to um, sort of simulate um, these other small creeks that are in this map but I can't um, can't do with the actual in-game mechanics so here I'm just planting a few more trees along the river um, nothing special I created as you might see on the um, upper left corner I created some custom forest brushes for this project or for this map where I chose um, some trees that I thought are realistic on this um, yeah, on this map and in this region um, just to make things quicker so all the major forests are now, are now, um, are now set so I'm just doing these weird um, grassland areas. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be on the map, but I'm just planting some small trees there. And yeah, what I'm doing now is just the landscape painting to make the um, landscape um, look more, yeah, more more interesting. Just so you don't have pure flat lands, but there is also something to see like that small trees there, a few lakes there and in that case here um, just outside the city of Bernburg there is this um, this this ore pit I'm not 100% sure what they are mining for there but I thought that's like a really um, or that's like something that I somehow should also um, include on this um, map so that's what I'm doing here to um, yeah, include this um, ore pit that is just outside the city of Bernburg. And uh, yeah, it's just some minor things like that, but you know, making this um, map more interesting. And especially when you make a map that is a one by one recreation of an area you, of course, want it to be recognizable on the first sight. And I think. I yeah I think I achieved that or at least I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping so so yeah by now the map is basically done there are only some minor cosmetic changes left now so yeah this was a bit of a shorter video today but um, next week of course um, episode 2 of Unspoke AD starts where we dive into the next yeah, actually next few hundred years of the um, history of Ansburg. So I hope you're okay with that being a more generic and shorter video from uh, my side today. So far, um, I am really happy with how this whole series turned out. Also, how um, yeah, how 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 well it is per uh, perceived by you. I. I get, I get, I'm getting so many lovely comments from you that it's, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's really great. So, um, I really thank you all for watching this series and for, for liking this series. So, from my side, I'd, I'd say that's it for today. I really want to thank you for watching this video again, as, as usual. And yeah, if you like this episode, if you like this project, Definitely, um, of course, like the video and comment under the video if you have anything um, you want to say to me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep on track with the city, of course. Also, um, I haven't mentioned that in the last videos, but definitely don't forget to also hop on, on my Discord server if you want to get in touch with me or um, others who follow my work or who are who also have some really ambitious City Skylands project, just so um, you know, we can have a nice talk with each other. A huge thank, of course, as usual, as, as usual <laughs> to my patrons that, yeah, that, that helped me so much into working on assets on this channel. I really thank you people for what you're doing for me. 
So again, that's it from my side for now. Um, the next video will come next month, starting with the next story. Uh, or well, uh, starting with episode 2 in the next storytelling video. Until then, I'll see you then. Um, have a nice time. Take care of yourselves. And yeah. Bye.